What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm the Mustang Hunter. I try to find as many Mustang variations as I can. And if I can't find those, that's where I go onto all the other cars I like because I'm just a huge car enthusiast. So guys, I know I didn't post anything for free at Friday or anything at all last week and I definitely do apologize. Work was just insanely busy. I am active duty military, so uh, my schedule was completely packed. Um, I'm taking a specialist course right now, so I definitely had to focus on studying and passing my first test. Um, so there's a lot of things I had to do last week and I wasn't able to make time for video, so I do apologize. But just to recap what I found over the past few days, um, I do have some cars right here as well as a box I'm about to open. To start things off, I did get a second 35th anniversary of Shelby Cobra from my brother. You guys have seen the last video. I do have the one that's signed by Carol Shelby as well as Paul Lamatt. That is my holy grail of everything I have. Funny story is when my brother put the bid online for this box right here, the owner had said that the Shelby was missing from the set and it was only the Viper and he only told him that after my brother won the bid and it was being sent, um, he told him, hey, sorry, I didn't realize that the car wasn't in the box. So my brother ordered me a second box so I can put the Shelby from this one into that one and have a complete set with the signature and all that good stuff um, turns out it actually had the Shelby in there um, so he ordered me the second one pretty much for no reason but at the same time it's still really really sweet this one's collector 4453 and this one's 4114 now this box is in much better condition than that one a couple people had commented that I should take off the bands um, so it can so it doesn't degrade the paint or or ruin anything which i'll do that eventually i just haven't gotten to it um like i said i just had a crazy week and i haven't been able to do anything that's why i took some time to reorganize all this and yeah if you saw my last video i was reorganizing all this stuff i've had this sitting here for about a month and a half now i just never showcased it to you guys because i just haven't had the time just did not fit in the agenda of the videos i was posting now this 69 chevy I got commented on my last video that I was a scalper because I took a second one knowing that I had one already, which you guys know, yes, I'll never pass up a super, um, but if there's a collector in there that needs it, I'll give it to him and I asked the kid if he had it. He said he did. That's why I kept it and I only took it for the purpose of trading. Now Big A, um, if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll post it down below. He wants to trade the Volkswagen Beetle from the Forza set for this one so I'm putting it in the hard case for him um, I need to get his info he needs to get mine so we can do the trade like I said um, I'm not gonna scalp anybody I'm not gonna take more than one thing that I need to if I do buy multiples it's either to give to somebody if you ever check out King Nut Diecast I hook him up with a lot of cars I do a lot of freebies for people that's just the way I am I like to gift things um, especially those who are always out hunting and the scalpers take it from them if I have that extra one or I find another one, I'm going to get it so I can gift it away. But I did end up finding two more Johnny Lightnings as well as two more M2s, but they are not Mustangs, but I thought they were really, really sweet. Um, this one's the SS Monte Carlo. This is a limited one out of 3512 in black. And this is the first time Johnny Lightning has ever replicated the gold stripe option for the 87 Monte Carlo. So I thought it was really sweet. I do like Monte Carlos and I love this year. Um, this was when I was born anyways, 1987 was when I was born. Um, so definitely a cool body style to have. Second one I picked up is one of 2000. This is the uh, 1964 Dodge 330 um, in gray poly. It's also a really clean color. Um, this one also has 426 Hemi fax on it, but yeah. But then today I picked up these. Uh, this is the 1968 Mercury Cougar R code in a lime green with some gold mag wheels. Very sweet. It's part of the ET mags um, set. And then I picked up a second one, same ET wheels, but it's a different variation. This is a 1968 and a half Mercury Cougar R code, and it's got the ET wheels as well, but it's got some really sweet bigs and littles. It's got the Goodyear slicks on the back. Really nice skinnies up front um, versus the other one where it just had normal Goodyear tires all the way around. This one's actually set up for drag, which I thought was really sweet. Look at that. Look how meaty those rear tires are and those skinnies just look super cool in front. 
It is a pearlescent orange with the ET Mags tampo on there. Um, now the only the only difference that I noticed was this is eight of 2,300 pieces and this is 6,700 pieces. Um, and then I realized that this is the 1968 and a half Mercury Cougar R code. And I thought that was really cool. I picked those both up. But moving on, I did receive my package from Nate. He's the collector from a couple videos ago that you guys remember of me getting the Starman. I hooked him up with some Kroger exclusives. He hooked me up with the Starman. Um, and then he just sent me some more exclusives in exchange for me sending him the red editions of the Borla truck, the red Mustang and the red Miata. Sending him this version of the Corvette C7R. Um, I did have a duplicate, so I'm throwing that in his box, as well as the 720S McLaren from Fast and the Furious, which he's been looking for. Um, my Walmart's always had them, but I looked the past couple days and they are completely out of this and the 350Z. I'm gonna hook him up with mine. Um, and then I'll find the 350Z, put it all in the package, and send it out for him. So if you're watching this, I appreciate you sending me this box. Um, and I do apologize for not sending it, but me and you talked about that on Instagram. So we're going to scratch that. Open up this box for you guys so you can see what exclusives I got from my boy Nate. All right, so at any time you ever deal with Nate, uh, I'll put his Instagram down below. He does an amazing job with sending stuff. Um, I mean, look at that. This packaging is really nice. Ooh, and look at that. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is the Kroger exclusive TV series Batman. Um, I'm not huge on the Batman car, but I do like exclusives. Now this one I've been looking for because I missed out on the last release of the Zamax. Oh my god, this thing looks so much better than that baby blue. Look at that. Which one do you think is better? I definitely think the Zamac is much better. Those yellow wheels pop very nice. You got the running bar with those yellow lights that look really good. Uh, the glass is tinted yellow. This is definitely a better variation of that truck. That is super clean. The next one is the exclusive 67 Camaro in black, red, and blue tampos with the black MC5s with the red ring. Super clean. I have not seen any exclusives around here at all. Our fries did receive a bunch of shippers and none of these were in there. And then, yes, here we go. You got the yellow Datsun wagon uh, for the Kroger exclusive. Definitely a nice piece. Um, this box does look a lot different. I'm not sure if it's the same box. Okay, yeah. Same box. Yellow looks good. Um, man. These three variations are very, very nice. Now I gotta adjust my Nissan set, which is gonna throw it all off, just so I can put this wagon in there. Ugh, the time. Well, I guess the Lamborghini is at its lowest, so I do have room to move down everything one, so at least I only got to move five cars. But yeah, this is the yellow exclusive. Um, these are the three exclusives, actually. The Camaro, the Batmobile, and the wagon but oh, I'm still loving this car this one is probably my favorite out of this entire box but Nate I definitely do appreciate you I know you were concerned about sending me this box because the corners were all soft and damaged but I'm not picky on that guys when I do buy a car I don't like the main car to be damaged like I don't want that picture to be distorted or creased um, I do have Camaros right here as you can see the cards torn had some where the the hanging hook is all jacked up but i've just fixed it it even got to the point where i had to buy another borla because look at that card that bothered me so i ended up buying a newer one in much better shape and then putting it there so this card's in much better shape this one i'm just going to either give away open up and put with all the other mustangs um so yeah um, the other car that I bought that was in really bad shape was this Corvette right here. This was found in a dump bin. I mean, look at this. This card's all jacked up and torn and wrinkled. And the edges are all destroyed. But I did not want to pass this car up because I passed it up before and then I never found it. And then when I finally found it, it was in this condition. So I just had to just suck it up, buy it. I know a lot of you collectors out there that open it up are probably just saying, just release it. Don't worry about the box, but that's just me, guys. I just like to display it um, all together. I'll just have to put that back, but that is what came in the box. So, Nate, I definitely do appreciate you sending me the exclusives. 
I am for sure 100% gonna send out your set. I promise you, um, like I mentioned uh, in our conversations, I'm definitely throwing you in uh, the 720 of mine. Uh, if I can't find it, I'll throw mine in and because I don't really care to sacrifice it. Um, but I'm definitely gonna find your 350Z no matter what it takes and then I will send it out for you. That's all I got, just wanted to recap uh, everything I bought and then of course the mail-in that I got from Nate. Um, Big A, if you're watching this, this l hit me up on Instagram so I can get your address, you can, get, you can receive mine and then we can do the trade so you can take this super off my hands and I can take that Volkswagen from the Forza set off of your hands. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you want to become part of the Mustang Hunter family by clicking that little subscribe button down bottom. That way you can stay tuned for all my videos. I'll try to be more on time this week. I have This is my last week in my specialist course um, and I should be done. So yeah, that's all I got guys. Until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.